everyone, welcome to Wednesday. Thank you, Mrs. H. Those close up are fit for a theatrical stage. Absolutely stunning. <clears throat> right, welcome to Wednesday. How are you doing? Hope you're okay. Looking forward to a shave. Going, going, gone. I know it's the 2nd of December, but it's a Wednesday and that's the shave day, so it's had more than its uh, month. <laughs> And it's been fantastic, to be fair. I've not had any issues. Uh, it's nice to be... There's always a part of me who would love to keep it. And there's a part I want to get rid of it. Um, and usually the part that wants to get rid is stronger than the one that wants to keep it. But uh, anyway, right, what we're going to use. Special on this. A uh, bit of a hand around shaving soap. Um, from a shaver over in the States. The Peaceful, or Peaceful Shaver, or The Peaceful Shaver. Um, from, it was, he's done a collaboration apparently with Ginger's Garden to create this soap in aid and in awareness of cancer. Um, cancer awareness, in aid of cancer research, support and all that sort of stuff. Um, it says on here, American Cancer Society, just there. Nice, uh, that's the peaceful shaver, I take it, yeah. <laughs> so it's Ginger's Garden have made the soap. Um, I believe, this is, as I say, it's been a hand around from him in the States. And then it's been shipped over to the UK. And John Shaves 101, um, he's used it. And then he's passed it around to different British uh, wet shavers who wanted to use it. And it's uh, John's daughter, Shave Girl. Uh, she's used it. I think Friendship Shavings used it, Mark. And, um, and then, of course, Chris CB Shaves, who is a, a friend, uh, as he says, a colleague. <laughs> We're in different offices. And um, also a wet shaver on YouTube, and he's passed it on to me. So this then, after me, will make its way back to John. Um, so many thanks, Chris, for sending over, and John... And peaceful shaver for starting the whole thing. Now, one thing's good about this, I didn't realise that I, I think I pulled it by mistake. There's a lid. Isn't that nice, that? Nifty. You could keep your, keep something contained if you just want to use it in there. But obviously, this isn't, this is a hand around, so you've got to keep it as, as good as you can. So I'll take the lid off. And it's been very nicely um, uh, maintained, shall we say? Now this scent reminds me of something I've got. Now it's supposed to be, is it a tobacco scent? Maybe that's it. I have got a few soaps with tobacco in. So that is there, but there's a sweetness. Now Chris reckons he could scent chocolate in it. Now once you mention chocolate, there is a hint of something. <laughs> Cocoa chocolate, yeah. But I'm getting like a sweet tobacco scent. A sweetness to it. Smells nice. So we'll see how we're going to lather from the puck, as other people have. Now the razor for this thing. What? <laughs> a lot of people think, oh, it's going to be the Merca Future. Oh, it's going to be the r Fuzzy one. Or maybe a Shavette. But well, it's not. What do I keep in that? The Lux handcrafted razor. Can I keep forgetting I've got these in it. Spare blades. It's my Gillette Slim Adjustable. And we're going to use it as an adjustable. And by the way, these cases, um, the chap that sent, sent me these, uh, saying that they're now available at Magad Razor. If anybody wants to go over and have a look at them, or you fancy one for travel or whatever. So I'll put a link in the description to Magad Razor. They're on there, if anybody's interested in them. Uh, good quality. They look heavy. Um, they're not lightweight, but they're not heavy. They're, they're quite um, quite good. Ideal for travel, maybe. And uh, they make them to fit different sizes, obviously, for different razors. But uh, there's a magnetic thing there. There's a leather surround. And it's quite neat. I enjoy it. This lives in this now. So, uh, thank you, Regan. So, that's that. We're going to use it on setting. Highest setting, number nine. For the first pass and I'm trying a blade when I met up with Chris we met last week or oh, this week was it the weeks go so quickly uh, hand me the soap um, and he's also let me loan 
a razor so I'm going to use that in the Sunday shave so I can get it back to him not that he said he's not in a rush for it but I like to don't like to keep them too long have you tried these blades he said winner by Gillette no I haven't they're made in India Gillette India so we're going to take the top off and we're going to get one out so I'm looking forward to trying this usually the Gillette blades are very good I only need one there you go double wrapped I like that that's a good sign it means they care about the blade after it's manufacture unless you get a, a dud one of course and that's what it looks like there you go winner twist to open twist to close locked there we go slight overhang to be aware of brush is my own DS cosmetic um, Paul H uh, tuxedo synthetic with the orange uh, resin handle that's been shaping in there um, we'll start to lather up first I think one two three here we go do it over the sink it's uh, wow very quick to lather up it's going to be a shame. <laughs> the reason I'm wearing glasses is when I'm reading stuff. Labels and terrible accounts. Um, if I go to work now with no glasses, I'm stuffed. So I always have a spare pair in work. And sometimes other people, I forget theirs, use them as well. Not that you should do that really, but it's handy in an emergency. So that is enough. There we go. And uh, we'll wet the face. And get going. Not going to bother with the pre shave. But we're going to let this uh, wonderful looking and smelling soap do its thing. And we're going to shave this one last time before we say goodbye. very easy to lather nice soap ginger's garden i have heard of them uh, but i've never tried i don't think any of their soaps so uh, i'll have to have a look on their site see now mind you it's kind of a bit late for christmas isn't it maybe but um, maybe in the new year a little treat a new year treat maybe <laughs> so so far that's nice. Set in nine. Heat the razor, Gillette, slim adjustable. One of my favorite vintage razors. I have two of them. This one, which is a standard, and the other one, which was done by um, Delta Echo Razor Works, which was sent to me by the, the uh, person that had it done. Uh, sent it to me like that. Uh, but they're no longer in business, sadly, the Delta Razor. Delta Echo Razor Works it did a good job on it, like a brown and red if you've seen it. So setting nine, most aggressive with a new Gillette winner blade. Here we go. That's one thing I like about this razor, even on setting Go on son, hear that motorbike. Even on setting nine, it's aggressive, but it's uh, a nice aggressive, as I keep calling it. It's not a sort of very tuggy or sharp, over, over aggressive. There's a good uh, protection from the soap. The scent, um, it's not strong and it's not weak it's it's a nice presence should we say it's a nice scent I'm still getting the 
tobacco-y sweet scent. It's nice. That's the last one of the Give you, let's have one last look before we uh, before we say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. So here we go. Are we ready? Three, two, one. And uh, I thought I'd use this soap, especially in this shave, because um, as you know, Movember is a cancer awareness um, month for growing the the moustache or the goatee or the Van Dyke, whatever you want to call it, uh, in awareness and in aid and support of cancer and cancer research. So I thought, what a good soap to end the shave on. So great idea. Here we go, you ready? Set in nine. No messing, lovely blade by the way, Gillette. A very smooth blade. Look at that. Wow. I'm gonna have to open the doors, it's uh, I was quite attached to this uh, goatee. Get it, quite a... Right. That thick, it's clogging. <laughs> this is where you see the Merca, or the R41, I should think, but the Merca Future wouldn't clog at all with this. It would, uh... No fault on the razor, it's just a. Th There's a lot of whiskers there to, to get rid of. Doors opening. There we go. It's nearly done. Well, this sink hasn't seen whiskers like that for a long, long time. Feels weird shaving there and it feels good at the same time. And that's it, we're back to normal. <laughs> good slickness, excellent glide, especially on this cheek bit here. Wow. 
All right, come on then. We'll rinse it out. Remove the blade for a minute. There we go. Back in. And we'll, oh no, we'll open it up. We'll go back down to number six, which is a dot in this case. You can see that, lovely. Just a touch of water. Ah, look, I nearly went round again. Oh, that feels, <laughs> feels funny. Yeah, so go and check. I'll put a link also to John Shaves 101 Peaceful Shaver. Um, who else was there? Um, Friendship Shaving, Shave Girl, and CB Shaves Chris. Um, so you can check their channels out if you don't know them already. And um, especially using this soap. All right, across the growth, here we go. Gillette Winner, fantastic blade. Even though the razor, well, that feels strange. Um, was on a, an aggressive setting. The blade does not feel aggressive. Nice and smooth. Um, I'm very efficient. Gillette winner. And it is a winner. So far. It's funny in wet shaving, you know, you think you've seen, if you've not tried, you've seen most things. And then along comes a blade, or a razor, or a brush, or something, or a soap you've never heard of. And it turns out to be fantastic. Very enjoyable. That is nice. Yeah, really nice. Okay. I'll just take a touch off the top here, just to make sure. For the bit of water. So very easy to lather. The, the scent is very nice. Especially when you, the more you use it, you know, it's really nice. Right. But as I say, it's not a, in your face, it's not strong, and it's not the weakest. It's, it's an, it has a nice presence, as I like to say. God, this feels weird shaping. <laughs> it feels tender. Right, against the growth. We'll leave it on setting six. So what's your shave of the day? S-O-T-D.
I love this razor. I would say to anyone, if you wanted a vintage razor and you weren't sure what type to get and you like different things, something like this or the Fat Boy, um, they're adjustable. So when you fancy a mild shave, you can have a mild shave, you can change it up with different blades in it. When you fancy an aggressive shave, you can step it up. And if you put a feather or something in this, then you're gonna know. But uh, so far, this is a very efficient and smooth blade. Under that nose now. Mouth corners. Very nice. Really nice. And of course when you're doing this November and you're using soaps like this, what they're in aid of, you always think back of, as many have said in the past, hang on before we do that, three, two, one, pick up time baby! <laughs> um, you can't help but think of uh, family, loved ones, uh, friends, colleagues who have been touched by cancer of various types in various degrees some who survived it and some who haven't um, we'll open it up and uh, yeah so it's um, it's within respect to these people so we bring it down now to a four another dot nice See, having a good week here. Eh? Going okay for you, hopefully. Oh, I got a couple of uh, weepers there. Eh? That little. Tiny ones, nothing worry to worry about. Probably my skin saying, what's going on here? We haven't seen a razor for over a month. <laughs> I've really enjoyed having the goatee this time. And I may grow it again before November. We'll see how I feel. Still slickness there, but not as not as much once you've rinsed, which is unusual. But it's good enough, as you can see. And that's superb. That is nice. And usually. When I've done the Movember and I'm shaving it off at this part of the video, I change my mind and I bend down and I get up and it's back on my face and all that sort of stuff. But we're not going to bother with that. Right, here we go. Going to use alum. So, 
cold water rinse first. That is cold. Holy smoke, that was cold. That'll wake you up. No stinging, which is unusual because I haven't shaved it. Well, I suppose you have to cut yourself. But then there's a couple of weepers, but nothing at all major. Oh, it's nice to have smooth skin again as well. <laughs> Well, an update on the on the cats. Uh, Alice is a bit uh, unsure, put out um, at her arrival, which is very expected. It's a normal thing, and it'll take a week, two weeks, maybe more, um, for them to you know just to bond. But uh, there's no trouble. There's no fighting or nothing. They're just. Um, Millie is very intrigued by her, but if she goes too near, she gets a warning. Like a, so, uh, <laughs> but they'd be good company for each other when they get used to it. So that's that, right? Okay, now Ginger's garden. It's the same, uh, the same stuff, but this is the aftershave. So we'll use some of that. Yeah, Ginger's garden aftershave. So it's the, um, I presume, yeah, I presume it's the same. Oh, it's a nozzle like that. There we go. Okay, don't need a lot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's nice. Do you mind if I just, sorry. I won't take too much. There we go, that is nice. Exactly the same scent. Slightly nicer in the aftershave. Not that the soap's bad, it's just you get a bit more. Really nice. And then we're going to go back to the old faithful Nivea Originals to look after this uh, freshly shaven skin. We're going frosty mornings, so it needs protection. That's another thing, I'm going to feel the cold now, aren't I? Any breeze for a day or two. <laughs> that's lovely. Wow, that's nice. So there we go. And that's what we look like back to normal, if there's such a word in this house. That's the good. So, what we used, we've used the Gillette Slim Adjustable. A fantastic razor on as an adjustable we've used it on setting nine for with the growth and the removal of the goatee um, setting six across the growth and uh, against the growth wasn't it kept on there and then down to four for the pickup time baby and the winner that it was a winner cheers Chris the Gillette winner blade really nice um, very efficient and very smooth um, could I compare it to something? Not really. Um, in smoothness, I suppose it's sort of persona red for me. Um, but I don't know. It it feels nicer in a way than that. Um, job to describe it, but it's a really nice blade. Enjoyed that. Um, and of course, this uh, was the theme of the shave, the November, the cancer awareness. Uh, started by Peaceful Shaver over in the States, um, the tobacco uh, soap and aftershave made by Ginger's Garden. So many thanks um, for the opportunity to try that. Um, really, really appreciate it. Really nice soap. Then the old Lux handcrafted case we had in uh, that my razor lives in. Um, Gillette winner, we've used that. We've used my own Paul H Films brush um, from DS Cosmetic. That's a lovely brush. Well, it would be. I chose it, wouldn't it? <laughs> for me, anyway. 
and um, it's really nice synthetic knot. Uh, we've used cold Welsh water, alum, um, Ginger's Garden, the aftershave, and the Nivea Originals uh, to keep this protected while it's still tender. So many thanks for watching. Uh, sorry if I've gone on again. Have a great rest of the week. Even better shaves. Look after yourselves and uh, try and have a laugh and a smile if you can. And I'll see you on Sunday for the Sunday shave. All the best and many thanks.